Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's video is sponsored by Cat File Explorer. The easiest way to see, delete and manage all linked and imported cat files in Revit. Get your free copy today using the link in this video description. Alright, let's get back to the lesson now. Today we will answer a question that many have asked after watching my two previous videos. One was on how to link CAD files into Revit using shared coordinates and the other showing you how to set up correct coordinates in your Revit model using information from a 2D or 3D survey DWG file. This is super easy to do as long as you have a geolocated survey file. That means everything in this file should be located at correct coordinates or locations. However, sometimes this is not the case. So how can we easily check the CAD file you receive from maybe a surveyor or a client? How can we check these files to see if they are correctly geolocated? Well, the good news is that's easy to check as well. Let me go back now to AutoCAD and show you. So we have here two files. This is the correct one because it's geolocated and we will quickly go through this one before showing you the problem you may get from another file like this which is not geolocated at all okay i can now go back to the right file and let's say i didn't know it was correctly located this is how i would check it to find out firstly i need to run this command called ucs manage so just type in ucs man the name is there ucs man press enter now and you will see in this window all the coordinate systems that have been saved in this file. We have here three entries, but actually only two coordinate systems. One is world and one is roundabout. This other one called previous is simply a shortcut, so you can quickly revert to a previous system you used before. So that's not a system in itself. If you are new to AutoCAD, it could be a bit confusing because you may not know what is a UCS. UCS is short for user coordinate system. And that's just a way that AutoCAD allows you to specify your own kind of world origin and coordinate axis in addition to the default one called world. In this case here, the custom UCS system or coordinate system is called roundabout. That's just a name that someone who set it up gave it. This name is custom. If you look closely, there's a little blue arrow at the beginning of this name. That means this system is now the current one. If I now click OK, I am seeing and drawing now in that roundabout coordinate system. Such a system has different elements, but the most important ones are the origin point and the X, Y, and Z axis. You can even see it here in this drawing, because here you can see the UCS marker, that's just a little X and Y icon there, where these two lines meet, that's where the origin point is for this system. If I now zoom out and just draw a line now, type in line, and for the first part of this line, I can just type in 0, 0. That is me saying to AutoCAD, I want to draw a line now from the origin point. Press enter. And suddenly enough, it's now starting my line from the same point that we saw before. Because this point here is the origin point of the current coordinate system or UCS. When seeing this, many people will mistakenly decide that this CAD file here doesn't have correct coordinates. Because usually, if that's the case, then the zero point will not be so close to the buildings like this. In this case though, that's the wrong decision. Because as we saw, there was a different coordinate system called world. So let's now press escape and type in UCS man again to get back to this window. And click on set current. As you can see, this little arrow now has moved from right about to world. That means world is now the current system and I can now click OK to accept this. Immediately you saw something different. That little icon there is no longer showing at the roundabout. Instead, we are having this similar icon but at the corner of the drawing space. It's time we can resume the same test to find out the origin point of the new system. Let's draw a line again and type in 0, 0. If you're working in 3D, you may need a third zero for the Z coordinate. We are only on 2D mode, so let's remove the last one and press enter. And suddenly I can see now something has changed. 
because the origin point is no longer there, it is now somewhere really, really far away. So far that if I even zoom out like this to the maximum, I cannot see that point. It's off my screen. So to see it, let's click here again to place the second point of this line anyway. And press escape. Now we have the line. We need to now regenerate the view to see the endpoint at this other end. That's easy to do. Let's type in regen and press enter again. I can now double click my middle mouse button to zoom to fit. And here we go. That's a very long, long line because it's connecting our site there where we have other elements to the origin point of the world. Now it looks more promising because the origin point should be nowhere near your building. So the longer this line is, the more positive it should make you feel that this file here is geolocated. Anyway, let's try to see our site here again. So I can now click on this line and delete it. Do zoom to fit again with my middle mouse double click. And now I'm taken back here. So far so good. We have now a good indicator. But still, just to be sure, you should do a third check. This third one can be done ideally if you know the coordinates of one of your side corners. Or maybe a corner of an existing building that you can see on this map. That information is of course not in here. But usually, if you have a survey done on the site or the building, that survey will very likely give you a list of points with the actual coordinates that the surveyor has obtained from his on-site work. So, let's zoom in now to one of those points. For example, let's say my building is there and I want to do a project to renovate it. And from my site survey, the surveyor, after doing his work for a few days, has given me lots of data, including the real-world coordinates of this point here. It should be in the form of X, Y, and Z coordinates. To confirm that this farm here, this cat farm, is geolocated correctly, I can just type in now ID. And that's a command on its own. Press Enter now. And now it will ask me to specify a point. I can now click on this point here. And straight away, I can see now the X, Y, and Z coordinates of that point. In our case here, we are not working in 3D, so the Z one is always zero. If you are checking a 3D CAD file, this number, you may have to look out for that as well. But for now, let's focus on just the X and the Y. The X and Y values here, they should very closely, if not precisely, match the coordinates of this point that you can get from the on-site survey. So if that number is that value for X and this value for Y, I can now finally conclude that this drawing here is indeed correctly geolocated. So that's where things go well. What if they don't? Let's turn to this other file here. This one, spoiler alert, is not geolocated correctly. So let's check again to confirm that's the case here. Let's repeat our three-step checking process. Firstly, run UCSMAN. And I can see now world is selected. That is good. We have also here another coordinate system called Revit City Internal. This system is usually because someone linked this file into Revit acquires coordinates from it, and then when they try to save the Revit model, it's going to ask if they want to save the shared coordinates of Revit to the CAD file. If they choose yes, then Revit will go ahead and create in this CAD file here this new coordinate system with the word Revit at the beginning. So usually, we don't want that to happen. Usually when that message comes up, always choose to disable shared coordinates so Revit won't try to modify this CAD file. For checking purposes though, the only thing you need to know is to ignore any coordinate system apart from world. So click on that, set current if you haven't, and do OK. The second step is to draw a line from 0, 0. Let's type in L, enter, and then 0, 0. As you can see, this is wrong already because that 0 point is now the center of this proposed building. That's the first indicator that shows me this file here may not be geolocated. I can further confirm that as well by typing ID and then click on this point here maybe that I know from a site survey work done. And as you can see, it's here a bit different because this file here is of another unit, not metric. But these numbers, I guarantee they won't match what the site survey has reported on this same point. So you can then confidently confirm that this drawing here is not geolocated. If the file is good though, like in this case, 
then lucky you, you can just use it to set up the coordinate system in Revit following my other tutorials here and here. I will link to both in the video description so you can go back to watch them if you need. If you enjoy this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next lesson.